Hello, beautiful. How are we today? You look fabulous. That is my sample request. All things fabulous. Today we're watching people do skunk stripe hair. I think that makes the most sense, right? We're watching people dye their hair skunk stripe. That doesn't make any sense. We're watching people color their hair skunk stripe. That doesn't make any sense. We're watching people do skunk stripes. I don't know. So if you don't know what skunk stripes are, it's when people dye like a big chunk of their hair, whether that be in the front, back, side. Usually it's just one stripe and it's usually blonde. I learned that today. It's about to get stinky in here because we're gonna bring all the skunks in the house. Up first, we have Gina Min. So I have this developer right now and then just the bleach. We have 30 volume and we have lightener. Boom, great. We're choosing this one. It's a soft pink. Okay, we're doing a pink skunk stripe. Does that make it less skunk because it's not black and white? Some skunks can come in pink and black. And for today's video purposes, that's what we're gonna go with. This is still a skunk stripe. Right now, this pudding conditioner on parts of my hair that she doesn't want bleach to get on. This is a great idea to just lay down those flyaways, make sure that things don't get mixed together. However, conditioner will not protect your hair from getting bleach on it. Just want to make that clear. I love like fucking up people's hair <laughs> so they get bald spots all over it. So I'm prettier by default. Period. <gasps> That's what it looks like. Do you want, do you want to try a sip? Her friend goes, do you want to try a sip of the bleach? You're sick. And I love it. Finally, we began the first round of bleach. We're using foils. Ooh. I love when you guys use foils properly. I don't like when you use foils non-properly. Sometimes I do because it's entertaining, but usually I don't. Right now, you're doing a great job with these foils. It honestly wasn't that complicated. We just slap that bleach on my hair in some layers and put some tin foil on top and let it sit in there. So she's doing the roots at the same time, which is like not a great idea, but because she's using the foil, she's gonna get that heat from the foil on those mids and ends and the roots are gonna get heat from the scalp because our bodies are warm. So things are probably gonna all process almost evenly, I imagine. Well, that was quick. Whoa, it looks so fun even and good. After we allowed the first round of bleach to develop, we washed it out with some water and some shampoo, and then we dried it, and now we are going in for the second round of bleach. We're doing round two. I think that's a great idea. She's gonna get this so pure white and beautiful. I cannot wait to see it. Also, I'm so glad they dried the hair before applying the next round of lightener, because that's always important. Don't apply lightener on wet hair unless you're trying to do a bleach bath. It just doesn't really work. It looks like I'm wearing a helmet. You are you're wearing going a helmet. space. Like you look like Lady Gaga, kind of. I get that comparison a lot. I love that. You look like Lady Gaga, kind of. I get that comparison a lot. In what world? <laughs> oh my god, me with blonde hair. Whoa, whoa, whoa! The blonde looks sick. <laughs> we began dyeing my bleached hair. It's honestly pretty fun. You just squirt that dye out and you smother it on. And finally, the big reveal for Jimmy's new hair. <laughs> oh my god, guys. It's done, dude. We did it. Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That looks really, really dope. I got pink hair now. Oh, um, yeah. So basically, that was my process of doing this drastic change. I freaking love it. I love the pink skunk stripe. It's so cute. Good job, friend. You really slayed her hair. Slay the day away, queen. Yes, mama. Up next, we have a video by Brianna Danielle. I want to be dyeing my hair. I'm just really bored, honestly. I just want to change my appearance. And I just want to be a bad bitch. And nobody can blame you for that. Also, your hair is so beautiful. It's so rich and dark and it looks healthy. I feel like some of that health is going to go today. I'm just doing a skunk stripe inspired look. I'm gonna be dyeing my hair black and bleaching the front section blonde. So to dye my hair black, I'm gonna be using two boxes of the Revlon Color Silk Beautiful Color. You don't need permanent color. I think you should do demi-permanent. You don't need all that lifting power and deposit power. But then again, if you want it to last a long time, permanent is fine. I don't know what's in those box dyes. And then to bleach my hair, I'm gonna be using the Prism Light Violet Bleaching Powder along with the Color Charm Wella 20 Volume Developer. Okay, well 20 volume might not do it. I'm predicting a lot of orange, a lot of brass. And then to tone my hair, 
because sometimes when you bleach your hair it does come out very orangey and brassy. I'm gonna be toning my hair using the Wella Color Charm 12A. I'm not familiar with that color, but 12 usually means it's white blonde. Like it's a level 12. So I don't know if this is going to, if, if her hair is gonna be light enough to use this color. It's also a permanent color and you can't really lift hair with color. I feel like this is going to do nothing for her. When did toners ever work in Hair Just Reacts? Like pretty much never. First thing I'm going to do, part off the front section and clip that out the way. So I'm just start with doing the middle part. The question here is where are we putting the skunk stripe? Is it going in the front? Is it going in the side? Is it going in the back? All right, so I tried to section my hair as neat as I can. I am literally terrible at parting, but this is what it looks like. And I'm actually gonna apply the black dye first. Oh, she is doing a big skunk stripe. It is the whole perimeter of her head. Just because I don't really care how long the black dye process is, but I don't want to leave the bleach on too long. That is a great point. Actually, you can totally leave the black dye on for as long as you want. It's not going to over process your hair. You can literally leave it on for days if you wanted to. So she's quickly applying the black on the back and then we're moving to the front. <laughs> Okay, so far, so All right, so now that I have applied the black dye all over my hair, I'm now just gonna clip this section out the way just so I can bleach the front section. So I got it to kind of look like cake icing. I'm not gonna process my roots. You always wanna wait until the end to bleach your roots. We're applying that 20 volume and bleach to her mids and ends and we're combing it through. Typically, I wouldn't recommend combing lightener because when lightener processes and lifts that color out of your hair, all that pigment and breaks disulfide bonds, you don't want to comb it, especially with a fine tooth comb, but it's not quite processed yet. I'm okay with it. It's definitely going to make sure things are even. I'll take it. And this is the color that it's at right now. I would describe it as a golden blonde. She didn't quite do this right, actually. <laughs> she did do the whole like mids and ends first and then she's gonna go back and do her roots, except why is there like no color on that section like that's near the root? Like let's leave an inch, okay? Let's leave an inch at the root. But other than that, you need to really get the lightener on there. This part down here is not gonna get the heat from your scalp. Since I did use 20 volume developer, it will develop a lot slower. So I think I'm gonna just keep taking it slow. Probably let it sit for another 10 minutes and then go ahead and do my roots. I honestly had this bleach in my hair for about 40 minutes, but I think this is a pretty good color. It's getting lighter. Now I'm just gonna go in and do my roots. She is doing the most and I'm loving it. She is getting that color in there. Like every little nook and cranny, like she wants this sh saturated and so do I. And that is exactly what she's giving us. So thank you so much, Brianna. I ended up getting the color I wanted and honestly, it didn't dawn on me like, okay, maybe I should dye my hair black first and then bleach the front because like how the f am I gonna rinse out two f colors? So that's what happened. I rinsed out both of the colors at the same time because I just wanna go ahead and get it done. I already know where this is going, but you're just supposed to just rinse the back first and shampoo it, get all that color out and then rinse the front. You can even like put your head forward and rinse the front by itself. But every time you wash your hair, it's gonna run into the blonde unless you wash them separately. That's the issue with having like black and white striped hair. It never stays black and white. The light parts turn gray usually. I am curious to see how bad the situation is though. A lot of my hair is like dark as like literally just from rinsing out the black dye, it got in contact with, with the blonde and it turned it damn brown. That's pretty bad. That sucks a lot. I got the last box of color oops. We're gonna see what it's gonna do. So now she's using color remover to get that color out. You should just do like a bleach bath, 20 vol, shampoo, a little bit of water and some bleach and it'll probably come out very easily if you just do a little roughing up with a cuticle, you know? But like literally it turned all of this brown. Like before I washed it, it was like blonde. It was like this color. Ah, 
I don't know. It doesn't look like the black ran into the blonde. I think it looked like it was blonde because the lightener was still on your hair, which always happens. And then you got a little bit of running from the black into the, the kind of orange bits, but I think it was more orange rather than blonde. But that's just what I see here. It looks like you have root and then you have old like box color on your hair. Fingers crossed this does something. So I just rinsed out the color remover and it removed the black, but it turned my hair kind of orange. What I'm gonna do is I'm just going to do a light bleach, just leaving out for like 10, 15 minutes just to lift this orange color. So basically from here on down on both sides. See, it was not from the black color going on the blonde you have box dye on your ends you needed to bleach the whole thing again besides the roots even a little bit of the roots the roots are still yellow round two of bleach also be careful with your eyes don't get lightener in it i don't want anybody to go blind i would really recommend using foils at this point like really just nicely done foils okay even like just four of them it'll really help speed up the process and get you a more pure blonde tone i bleached it for about 25 minutes it did like Okay, it looks okay. We gotta even the results out though, right? Like we gotta do something with this toner. I don't think this toner is gonna do shit, but <laughs> hopefully. So now I'm about to just go in with toner. Alright, so I've let the toner sit in my hair for about 40 to 45 minutes. All I'm about to do now is shower and deep condition my hair. Alright guys, so and it took a long time. Oh my god. The camera is picking up more orange, but it looks more blonde in person. But yeah, this is what my hair looks like. She's cute. You have the nicest hair ever. <laughs> okay, listen, here are my thoughts. I like the look, I don't like the tone, but who the fuck cares, right? I'm glad that she loves it, that's what's most important, but I just think we could do like a little bit of a darker blonde and a little more ash tone. It's giving a lot of yellow and orange right now, but it looks cool, great job. We definitely had some hurdles to overcome, but we jumped over those ones, huh? Sort of. Up next, we have Daisy. So I'm gonna bleach my hair, just this part. Another girl with just beautiful hair. <laughs> Please don't ruin it, and if you do, I'm glad you recording it um the bleach london the super toner i'm expecting the worst because as you can see here the hair color of this goes to that and then i was thinking i might bleach it again if it does go like that we just have to see it's just a bit of fun trial and error <laughs> All right, let's do a trial and error moment. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of error. It says two of these with one of this, but because I'm only doing the front, I think I'm just gonna use one and then use half of this. There's no bowl or brush. I'm using a spoon. Oh, I need to leave it for 15 minutes from my root two centimeters. So we're doing two very chunky stripes down the front. Stinks. Can you measure that compared to my hair? Put two centimeters from my root. From the root? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> it stinks. <laughs> and Dad, thanks for coming through with telling her what two centimeters is. Two centimeters? From the root. Yeah. Oh, okay. He said this is two centimeters? Also, why two centimeters? I would say an inch. Right, we'll start on the other one. That large two centimeters. This? Oh, no, two inches. Oh, at the same time. Yeah, exactly. In what world is that two centimeters? That is literally two inches. Oh, God, it stinks, isn't it? Yeah, it's right by my face. Ah. Then you like put them in something? Her hair is so long and luscious. I just don't want it to be damaged after this. How do you, oh, you put both of them in? No, you like grunt that one in. I do it like a sandwich. Like this? Yeah. <laughs> We're doing a tin foil sandwich. That looks more like honestly nothing. Like it looks bad. Guys, <laughs> don't do that to your tin foil. Don't scrunch it up. You're gonna end up moving the lightener off of some parts of the hair. You're gonna get this stripey weird effect on the hair. Just take one piece of tin foil and another and then fold the sides and fold the bottom. That's it. It's actually easier that way, believe it or not. Okay, I'm so fast. <laughs> <laughs> you look so funny. Is that a spoon we're using to do the roots? So it's been 35, almost 40 minutes. 
And this is what we have. Whoa, this looks really good and really even. Hell yeah. The roots on 100% done and I got it on here, but I mean, that's what happens when you do it at home. It's looking quite good though, I think. It looks incredible so far. Once she tones it, this is going to be amazing. So this is where I'm at. This toner looks like it's doing its job perfectly and it's not overtoning it. It looks good, but it's a bit gray. I'm gonna wash it off now. I put it on for, I put a 20 minute alarm on and it, it had like five minutes left. This is after a nice shampoo. Yeah! Show me a dry. Stop making me wait. Show it to me. So this is my hair. I purple shampooed it. Whoa, that is fucking blonde. Wow. Left it to sit in my hair for a bit just to get rid of that, the yellow tones. But it still has a little bit, but I'm happy with how it looks. I'm just gonna keep purple shampooing it every time I wash my hair. Yo, she did an incredible job and her hair looks so healthy and pretty and I love this look. It like totally gives her that zoo zoo zoo, you know? That bazan zan zan. That thing that we're all looking for. I love this on her. What? Well, that was a journey. I love a skunk stripe. It's just fun. And it's like an easier thing to do at home because you're not doing your entire head and it's like a very small section. So maybe try it out, you know? And if you do, let me know. Just start recording before you do it. But great job, you guys. If you'd like to check out my hair care or my hair color line, we have 12 semi-permanent colors and a bunch of different hair care products. It's all linked down below. You can shop at X Mondo Hair. Com. Also, check us out on Instagram. That's my handle, and that's Xmono and Xmono Color. You can get hair inspo and all kinds of fun stuff. And that's all for today, guys. Make sure you check out more videos of mine here and here. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I'll see you next time. Bye.